Hey, this is Dr. David Myers, and we have a case today of a patient. He has what's called Alecranon bursitis. <laughs> So he's had this drained a couple times. This is the lateral epicondyle right here of the elbow. Here you can see um, the olecranon process is over here. It's kind of hard to see because these are swollen. And here is the radial head. So if we kind of make a triangle like that, the place, the best place to drain it is right in between those three. Now do we always need to drain this? Not always, this is really uh, enlarged, it's been swollen, and what we're hoping is after we drain it a couple times, and today we're gonna put a little steroids that we calm down this inflammation and we don't, can avoid a surgical procedure. Certainly if it's infected, uh, we would have to drain it, but um, it doesn't look like it um, today. So here's a little. Here's a little stink poke. So now that we're in here, we can just draw back and you see this, um, I call this serous fluid. So this serous fluid you can see, what causes it doctor? What color? What causes it? irritation of the olecranon which is this lining in the elbow you get irritation in rubbing your elbow on things it can it can cause this problem and this is see it's almost all of just the serous fluid and just slightly tinged with a little bit of, of red but that's the typical um, type of fluid that we get out another one? Yeah. So, so it's not from barbecuing chicken and stuff like that, right? <laughs> well, I wish it was that simple, then we just would barbecue something else, but no, it's not. So sometimes you just um, you should put a little negative pressure, see if we can get anything else out of there. What strength does Really, that's the vast majority of it. So really it only took one to get that out. So now let's, while we leave that in there, let's put a little steroid. Can I get some 10K please? Mm -hmm. Still training a little bit of that out, but not much. So we don't even have to make another entrance because we're already in there. And this is a little catalog, 10 milligrams per kilogram. Here's a little. Okay, that's it.